Hey everyone, Tamara here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys have been keeping well and that you're continuing to thrive as you walk your spiritual path. Today, I want to share with you guys my own insights as to what can you realistically expect when you start to work with the Goetia. Now, some people, they find the Goetia and then they approach the Goetia wanting to get things like fame and a bunch of money, right? And here's the thing. Those types of things are a direct result of your value. Fame is a byproduct of you being really good at something to the point where the whole world notices you because you're that good. So if you're approaching the Goetia and you're asking them for things like fame and money, you have to be realistic with yourself and to ask yourself, what type of value am I offering the world? What type of skill sets do I have in order to attract a bunch of money? That's something that people don't want to be honest with themselves about. The Goetia will not just make you famous if you have nothing to be famous for. If people are not paying you for your time and your opinions, it means that your knowledge is weak. You need to go learn something. You need to go improve and build upon your skill set. And until you can acquire the necessary expertise and the skill set, you will then get the so-called recognition, fame, and money that you are seeking, right? So these are the types of realistic expectations I want you guys to know about. The Goetia are not genies in a bottle. They're not just going to give you things for nothing. They want you to do the hard work. All right, so that's the introduction. Now let me get into it. So realistic things you can expect working with the Goetia. Number one is that expect change and painful transformations. The Goetia will rip the band-aid off of you for the things that are no longer serving you. If there are certain things in your life that are holding you back, they will make you face them. The substances, the toxic people, the poverty mindset, they will rip the band-aid off and encourage you to do the hard work to transform yourself and change yourself so that you can get on your highest timeline to manifest the desired life that you require. It's not going to be an easy process. One thing you must know about change is that it doesn't happen overnight. It can take months to years to truly manifest things in your life that are sustainable. For some people, yes, they'll work with the Goetia and they will achieve success overnight. And usually those are the types of people who have already done the inner work on themselves for many years. Like, for example, let's say someone finds the Goetia and they want to manifest more money and they're a business owner. So let's say they find Mammon, right? Or King Clonic, and they invoke King Clonic or Mammon. And then, you know, they're more likely to get clients overnight and higher sales versus someone who doesn't have their own business or any sort of avenue for the money to come through. So results with the Goetia depends on what do you already have in your life, that's what I'm realizing. So people who have their own businesses or they have a, like a YouTube channel or just some sort of outlet for the things that they desire to come through are more likely to be successful when it comes to business magic when working with the Goetia. All right, so that's 
a point or realistic expectation you can expect from the goetia it's change it's a painful transformation and just realizing that change doesn't happen overnight and that yes you will have to put in the hard work to make things happen in your life you know you have to be the one to go to the gym if you want that six pack you have to be the one to improve your skill set if you want to make more money in life you have to be the one to love yourself if you want more love in your life and to manifest a partner you have to do the work right so another realistic expectation you can expect from the goetia is that they will bring up your emotional traumas so what do i mean by this of course they will bring up your sexual traumas and your childhood traumas in order for you to heal it why because when working with the goetia you are working with the divine feminine or that the negative charge right the negative polarity and the divine feminine is all about emotions and intuition and feeling right so whatever hang-ups you have you have to feel all that pain and it's obviously not a comfortable process but you have to feel that pain and all those buried emotions that you've suppressed in order to heal it so that is another realistic expectation you can expect when working with the goetia all right so it's healing emotional traumas that you've buried down within you for years all right another thing that you can expect is that the goetia will check up on you from time to time like with me for example my relationship with belial i will see him in my dreams you know i'll go to his lair and you know he'll sometimes play tricks on me because that's just belial that's just how he shows love and then, you know, uh, he'll check up on me to see if I'm on track, if I'm doing the right things. And then, you know, I may not hear from him for a while. And then maybe like, you know, sometime later, I will hear from him again. And he'll consistently check up on me to see, am I doing the right work, right? So they are guides for you. They're like, uh, they're shamanic spirits, right? They're there watching over you and making sure that you are making the right decisions in your life. And that you are on track to achieving your highest potential all right so these are the some of the things i wrote down here for what you can expect when you start working with the goetia because you know a lot of people as i said earlier as i said earlier in the video they come to the goetia and they expect to get things for free things handed to them easily and they don't work like that your level of results with the goetia depends on you if you want to manifest a bunch of money and like recognition and love it depends on how much work are you investing in yourself the more you invest in yourself the more that they can give you all right and this is something i'm working on to this day just investing in myself every single day improving myself improving myself improving myself right so i hope you guys are also doing the same and that is my video for you guys thank you so much for watching my video i appreciate you all as always if you are interested in my services the my email is in the description link below if you're interested in joining my patreon where i post behind the scenes dark arts videos the link for that is also in the description box below Thank you and have a beautiful day, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Take care and bye.